Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So in this video, I speak about stereo imaging in mushroom. Specifically, I explore uh, the concept of uh, stereo width, how much is too much, using the MAT uh, 2BC multi-core plugin. Before we start, please Remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request the quote at bestmustering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Your support really helps me to bring more content. And now, without any further ado, let's get started. Stereo imaging is a crucial aspect of mastering that can make your mix sound wide and spacious. However, pushing the stereo widths too far can lead to issues like phase cancellation and a loss of mono compatibility. That's where the mod to be see multi-core uh, plugin comes in handy. It helps analyze and control the stereo widths across different uh, frequency bands, ensuring a balanced and cohesive sound. First, let's take a closer look at the mod to bc multi-core plugin. This powerful tool provides real-time correlation metering across multiple bands, allowing us to monitor the phase relationships between the left and the right channels. It features uh, 31 bands of correlation with a true linear scale, providing precise visual feedback. The plugin combines essential monitoring controls like left only, right only, mono, difference, and uh, flip, allowing for detailed analysis and adjustments. It's especially useful for preventing phase issues and ensuring mono compatibility. Here you can see the different bands, low, mid, and high frequencies. Each band's correlation meter shows whether the channels are in phase or out of phase. A correlation value closer to plus one means the channels are in phase, while a value closer to minus one indicates phase cancellation. Now, Let's take uh, a listen to a mix and see the mod 2BC multi-core in action. I've got an acoustic track here that I've been working on, featuring vocals, acoustic guitar, bass, and uh, percussion. Watch as the plugin analyzes the stereo image. Notice how the correlation meters fluctuate across the different bands and uh, you will hear that this track has a nice balance but indicates potential phase issues that translate to a weaker mono signal because i used the stereo width tool too far at the mastering stage purposely for this demonstration let's take a listen
And now, let's take a listen to a mastered version where we adjusted the width to a level that gives a wide and spacious fill, while maintaining good phase coherence. The MA2BC multi-core plugin makes it easy to visually confirm this balance. Let's take a listen. So, how much is too much? The key is to find a balance that enhances the stereo image without compromising mono compatibility. A good rule of thumb is to keep the correlation value above plus 0.5 uh, to ensure a strong and stable image. In conclusion, using tools like MA2BC multi-core can help you achieve a wide stereo image without sacrificing the integrity of your mix. Remember, less is often more when it comes to stereo widening. Always check your mix in mono to ensure it uh, translates well across different playback systems. And don't forget to use your ears. Sometimes the visual meters can guide you, but your ears are the ultimate judge.